welcome back to my channel it's maria nairobi if you haven't already make sure you subscribe hit the bell so you can stay alerted with all my new content i have not did a vlog in so long i have not did a vlog in so long for me because i used to do it weekly and i think like i don't even know how many weeks it's been since i did a vlog but anyway i'm back um i have so much to update you babes on i guess this is like a kind of an update vlog i'm actually on my way to get a wax i need to get my eyebrows arched but i feel like it's gonna be crazy in there so i'm kind of hesitant maybe i can just check it out just to see if i'm willing to wait or whatever because i'm just i mean it's not like i'm getting my nails or anything and i just did my nails if you don't know you know i am the press on queen i have press on videos um on my page so check it out all right um where do i start so i haven't i don't think i've posted a vlog since november since then i have become single i would say like now if i was say happily single that would be stretching it but i am single now i do think it is god's i know let's not think i know it's god's doing um you know when god show you something you just gotta take it because you don't want god to keep showing you something because he's gonna show you the hard way and you're gonna be hurt so i'll just say that but it's just been it's been it's been a huge transition i've grown so much and just like with a month a month and a week i've grown so much as a person like just from the trials and tribulations of life like my life just like literally hit the fan and I can't, some things I just don't want to disclose, other things I can't disclose, but I'm a trooper, I'm resilient, I am a God-fearing woman, um, I live by the motto, faith over fear, and that's literally what I'm standing on. I'm standing ten toes, ten toes down on faith, because that's all I have at this point. I do, I can say, like, my heart has been ripped out stepped on through across the street dragged back a needle in it and then like put back in my chest i can say that however god is an all-knowing god and i find peace knowing my intentions and how i carry myself and what i put out into the world and i know what i deserve so it's gonna be all right and that's all I'm going to say. It's going to be I. Right. It's going to be I. Right. And like I said, I've grown so much from just that experience alone. I include the other things that went on. I've grown so much. Like, I, I think I was pretty naive to the world. Pretty naive to some shitty people. Shitty people. Like, I really, before this, I really try to see the goodness in everybody. Or like... I really try to see the best, literally, because I feel like that's how God will want us, like, who am I to judge, like, you know, so forth and so on, I've been through a lot in life, and I wouldn't want nobody to judge me, so that's basically my motto, but that situation I just went through showed me that, please, a spade is a spade, and Maria, it's not your job to make them into anything else, learn it or learn it the hard way, period like people are shitty people really shitty y'all and it doesn't matter how how your intentions are how pure your intentions are how you show up towards them how deserving or undeserving you are it doesn't matter they're still going to be shitty which i think for me was just a smack in the face i really was naive to that that concept like like i said i've seen the goodness in in people and you know yeah like my girlfriend said overstood the other day and it really stuck with me i literally overstood too many different situations and overstood too many different people so now i've grown to the point where yeah it's still good people in the world but if somebody show you that card take it take it just as that and act accordingly and if you don't there's consequences to that so I guess that's what like I took from that situation and God knows it was definitely hurtful. It was a shock. It was like, what? Oh my gosh. Like I just thought like if I'm a, you know, good person and 
I, I have good intentions and I try to do right by people, that's what people are going to do to me. And that's just not true. So I really just been working on myself and building and healing. Um, I just started a new book. Oh my gosh, I don't have it with me. I'm going to try to have a picture somewhere. It's really good so far. And it is basically based on understanding um, or healing from trauma. So it's good so far. My therapist actually recommended it. So I'm reading that. Um, and obviously y'all know I'm in therapy. Like, y'all know. Y'all know I get down with the therapy. And I'm just loving myself. Like, I'm really just loving on myself. Another thing, y'all, I've been too humble. I've been too humble. Like, what, Maria, please? You the, you the thorough is the baddest. Like, no, I had to, I had to really like level up and stop like dumbing myself down for, to make other people comfortable. No. So I really just been like loving on myself and like just doing everything that I really love to do and just taking it day by day, being patient with myself, trying to understand my feelings because if anyone has been through heartbreak betrayal um just trauma in general in different ways like you know like one day you good and the next day is just like a blast of emotions so I, i've been really trying to process those feelings and those emotions in real time and still show up so here i am i said you know what i gotta get back to my vlogs um i did stop them it is a reason why i stopped them it's this people people is woo and the people i mean obviously this is a, a a public platform but you like i guess my first thought is not that stalkers will be looking at my stuff and with those intentions like it's hard to say what i was saying this i'm just gonna leave that there but i stopped it for a while just to gather my thoughts and just see where i would have really wanted to go with my youtube but i'm not gonna stop because this is my passion and i got a story to tell i got a lot to offer you babe so i'm not I'm not going, um, I'm not going to stop. So, yeah, but I feel good. I feel really encouraged. I feel empowered. I feel like I am progressing through the lesson, through the lesson from God. Like, I feel like there's no coincidences. There's always a lesson in everything that you go through. So, I'm really progressing through that. And I thank you, base for all my little ones. Um, about to get the cootie cat waxed. Y'all play too much. I'm starving too. Like I have not ate. I can't believe 2023 is literally a little over 24 hours from now. Crazy. Oh man. The only thing about having long stretches, long bundles, um, I feel like I be having to brush it. Like, it's probably fine, but I just be tripping. I feel like I just be tripping. I feel like I gotta, like, make sure it's extra neat all the time. And it's so beautiful. Like, last week, it was so cold. And this, today, I think it's, like, a high of 50-something. Somebody said next week is supposed to be, like, the high of, um like, 70-something. I'm like, yo, global warming is wildin'. Whew. Of course, my glasses that messed up my hair on this side. All right, y'all. Right, sir. Oh, you love yeah. <laughs> Follow her. I'll have her YouTube handle yes. somewhere on the screen. So yes, you know I had to come here before the new year because I can't have a hairy kid. <laughs> when you get a wax, you feel like a grand, a brand new freaking woman. Shanika always does me right. I be feeling like love. All right, did I pass the place? I want some Cadoba. You're welcome. 
I love their um, queso bowl. I had to wait like five minutes for somebody to help because they were doing something with the um, with the chicken. <laughs> so I just turned the camera off, but it was a young man, you know, serving me at Cadoba, and I had to keep asking him for more food. Like, bro, I know I'm short, I'm little. But I eat the fuck like <laughs> y'all I, I eat like can you give me some more rice can you give me some more cheese like give me food don't skip me a bomb bowl he was trying to give me don't play mm -mm. don't play when I cut up my food and then I got nachos a whole bag of nachos and he gave me a little thing like this of cheese like bro I ain't even say nothing. Because he was really well-mannered and stuff. But he's just like, look, I'm here. I'm here to work, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm doing today, y'all. I need to wash clothes so I don't have to do that tomorrow. Oh, well, thank you, honey. Um, so, I could just clean tomorrow morning. And then go to Hobby Lobby so I could do get the stuff for that. <sighs> but yeah, I will. I will be back on later. I'm so happy to be back vlogging, y'all. I feel at home. I'm so happy y'all i can't even talk i'm so happy i actually pray in the new year that's a tradition with my mom's side of the family we pray the new year and i didn't go anywhere i created my prayer box which i'm gonna try to get some footage in after this clip i um, showing you my prayer box um and that's what i did i ate some leftovers from olive garden i was watching a movie I prayed the year in. I sent my text out and I went to sleep and I felt good. I actually just came from Dunkin' Donuts. I picked me up a small coffee and I am going to cook some greens today. I'm so annoyed because y'all, anybody that cook knows greens is just a job. And the most, the biggest part is just cleaning it. So I got to clean the greens because they're fresh greens. Put them on, and then my mom was kicking the black eyed peas and the chicken. So I guess I shouldn't complain because I'm only doing one thing, but I don't feel like it. So I just got a coffee, and yeah, and I need to finish up cleaning. I didn't get through everything. I cleaned my downstairs, I cleaned my bathroom, my master bathroom, and I cleaned my um, my powder room. So my powder bathroom, one bathroom still hasn't gotten clean. I need to put away my clean clothes. Tidy up Nairobi room and then vacuum my hallway. Hopefully, I can get done that today. I don't know. But I am off tomorrow, so I don't know. I want to do something tonight. Y'all, I am feeling like so 
Like, I'm feeling really just empowered. Like, I know it's a cliche, like, this is my year, but I really feel that. Like, I feel like the lessons that I've been through and God has empowered in me, like, I feel like I'm ready. Lord, I'm ready to walk in my path. And I'll just say that. But y'all, let me get in this darn house so I can clean these greens. <laughs> See y'all later. These doggone greens, it took me forever, y'all. But they in here, I did mustard and collard greens. I usually try to add turnip and um, kale as well, but the um, produce junction didn't have any, so here we are. Babies, this is the final look. I absolutely love it. This prayer box is so me. Oh my gosh. So I actually replaced the um, vision board with the prayer box. In 2023, my goal is to lead with God because without God, I am nothing. So I will be taking today, New Year's, to actually write out all my prayers for the year. And then throughout the year, I will be adding some goals and prayers to put inside of it. Definitely check out the prayer box. It's a lot of videos on YouTube on it. Get you one. Lead with God this year. Happy New Year's.